And for the Ladybug tutorial, the two ribbons that I'm using, I'm using a 3 8 inch solid black and a 3 8 inch red and black dot. Going to be using the red and black dot for the Ladybug's body and this will be for the headpiece, the black. Now you'll need your glue gun, a sharp pair of scissors, and your clip. And the clip that I will be using is an alligator pinch clip. This is the alligator pinch clip. This is a smaller clip. Just a little pinchy pinchy clip. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 4 inch piece of that red and black dot 3 8 inch ribbon and I'm going to line my pinch clip. Just going to add your glue. But when you're adding your glue, make sure you open this because you don't want the prongs sticking together. So go ahead and add just a little bit of glue. And there goes my glue gun in the floor. I'm going to place that right on top. Smooth it down. And then you're just going to take and add a little more glue right here on the inside of the clip and fold this in. And I am just going to be, uh, I don't line the bottom, the bottom prong. It, it just makes it um, easier to slip in hair if you don't have a fully lined clip. Now if you're going to be um, putting it in a baby's, baby's head, or on a baby's head, I'm sorry, then you might want to line it. But um, yeah, it's just easier if you don't line the bottom clip this piece can just slide into the hair. Okay, get all your glue strings off. Then just put a little glue right here at the top. I'm sure most of you know how to line a clip. But this is a short tutorial, so go ahead and add a little filler. And then right here on the bottom, just a dab of glue. A dab of glue will do and just press down and if you haven't heat sealed go ahead and heat seal this end right here but I've already done that and now we have a lined clip the next part of the tutorial I'm going to be using two pieces of that red and black dot this piece the longer piece measures four inches and then I've got another piece that measures three and a half inches. And we are going to form the body of the ladybug. Okay, and if you remember the mouse tutorial and the Easter egg tutorial, those tutorials, um, we are going to use that same exact body to make the ladybug. You just take your ribbon here it is in both of my hands and we're going to come down it looks like that awareness type ribbon without the two tails of course so all I did again we're gonna fold in and then piece them together just like that and that is going to be our ladybugs body and you'll just want to do the same thing to the three, in, the three inch, three and a half inch piece. I'm sorry. And then we're just going to layer them one on top of the other, just to give it a little more dimension. You don't have to use um, two pieces of ribbon. You can even even use three pieces. It's just whatever you want. So go ahead and add your glue to these two pieces once you assemble them. See, we've got our two ladybug parts. We're just going to put them together now. And you just want to. Put the bigger one on top of the smaller one and glue. Glue and press. Now you're ready to glue your ladybug body to your clip. You're going to want to glue, see here is the end of the clip right here, right here. You're going to want to glue the body down. You want the this round part right here at the uh, the top of the clip. 
but you want your body down here, if that makes sense. Down, up. <laughs> so go ahead and add just a little bit of glue. You don't need it right here at all the way at the edge, just really close though. I we'll want it to look like this right here. So go ahead and glue it down. Okay, now we're going to use the black 3 8 inch ribbon, and you just need to cut a very small piece. I don't even know if that's an inch. Maybe it's an inch, but we won't be using all of it regardless. And we are going to put it right here at the tip of the ladybug. We're going to glue it to the top, and then we're going to wrap it. We're going to open the clip, and we're going to be wrapping it around and gluing. And of course you're going to trim off the excess. So go ahead and add just a little bit of glue here. You'll hear Kennedy. She's being a fussy pants. Glue down. And then you're just going to come around the bottom underneath and glue. I'm trying to do this one handed here. And just take the rest of it and come back around and glue underneath. And then just trim off the excess right here and go ahead and uh, run your flame over that so it doesn't fray. Oh no, gotta hurry, mama. Okay, and that part is done. Okay, and now all we need is our ladybug's antenna. You're going to take another piece of that black 3 8 inch ribbon, about a 1 inch piece, and to create the antenna look, let me zoom out just a little bit. You're going to take your scissors and you're just going to cut down the middle. Just don't go all the way. Just cut right down the middle. All right, see how I cut this, but I didn't go all the way down? That's what we're going to do. Now you're going to take your lighter, and you're just going to fan the flame over these raw edges. And we're going to make these as close as possible to antenna. And this will also prevent it from fraying. Kennedy says, hello guys. So just be careful not to burn yourself. So I've done that. Oh yes, I have done that. <laughs> Alright. You can pull on them. Just pull them out just a little bit. And if they're not small enough, just keep trimming until you get them the desired width that you are going for. Okay, now you're just going to take your antenna piece, open your clip, and you're going to glue right here at the bottom or underneath your top prong. So go ahead and glue it right here on that black piece. And when you shut the prong, you're going to be able to see them, but it'll be underneath. And here's what it looks like once you have glued it to the back. See, the prong is going to lay over it. And here's what it looks like from the top. And of course, if these are too long for you, you can always clip them and just run your lighter back over them again. 
Okay guys, and believe it or not, that is it. A very simple clippy. If you're in a rush and you need a cute little clip, here you go. Take you a couple of minutes to make. I hope you guys like the tutorial and if you decide to make it, visit the Facebook page and post a photo. I'd love to see your little girls wearing these clips.